Morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, August 17th. Total crypto market cap 1.94 trillion per trading view. Just below 2 trillion, about 2.01, which we hit um, just a couple of days ago for our short term. Well, yeah, our recent short term performance. Altcoins 1.08 trillion. Having a look at categories. 2.042 trillion uh, total crypto market cap per coin gecko. Music is up 88%. Why is that? Audius. Audius is up 81%. I think that's on the back of their uh, news that they're teaming up with TikTok. Additionally, Terra, Avalanche, Solana. Oh, have a look at this. How good is this? Just all the um, Ethereum competitors. A Port City. Good to see you. Yeah, audio is looking good. How good was. Um, that, that partnership and then all of our layer 2 blockchains um, they're all doing pretty well as all Cosmos, Solana, Avalanche, Terra all up above 10% for the last 24 hours total value locked 83 billion for per DeFi Pulse 146 billion up about 2% for DeFi Llama and 26 billion total value locked on Binance Smart Chain the transactions kind of pumped this week as well, uh, earlier this week for Binance Smart Chain. Looking at NFTs, Axie Infinity back above 30 million. I'm really looking at 30 million as as kind of our barometer um, or our baseline for Axie Infinity right now. Then CryptoPunks, Artblocks, or Artblocks, CryptoPunks, and then Board Ape Yacht Club. All the women back into the top five. And Lonely Alien Space Club actually having a good day at number six. Any high volume outliers? Who was that? Uh, Solana, Polygon, Audio is up there. Sushi, Filecoin, and Shiba Token. Watch out for the meme coins. The meme coins are coming back. You can see it in our chart. We've started an uptrend. It started August sixth, and we're having an uptrend. Uh, we can see it with Doge as well. We've got an uptrend in our Doge price. We'll bring it in a little bit. Yep, we've got a definite uptrend. You can tell it uh, from like the August 1st. Um, you can tell from the linear chart, a little harder to see on the logarithmic. And then the other meme coin that I like to keep a good track of is Spore over on Avalanche. It is also seeing an uptick. Ever since July 23rd. So meme coins are coming back. You've heard it here now. A-S-C-H, good to see you. Here's Nomo Games. All of our links are in the description. Um, we're going to fly through the first probably four or five, and then the rest, I think, are NFT collections. Here's Nomo Games. DAO first um, decentralized protocol, building play-to-earn tokenized fantasy sports. Got the Nomo token. Here is Nomo Games. Decentralized protocol for fantasy sports. We just have a white paper at the moment. Oh, the white paper is actually still coming soon. How about the DAO? If I press launch DAO, it does take me to Aragon. Very nice. We've got the Nomo launch DAO here. Yeah, social media music's tough. Well, it looks like it's too early days for Nomo. Next up is Tiny Hero. They're launching in a couple of days. They're launching um, August 20th at 5 a.m. UTC time. So play to earn games with Tiny Token, hold Tiny Token, earn Matic. So at the end of the day, the whole point of Tiny Hero is to earn Matic. We do that by playing the game and earning Tiny, hold Tiny, and you um, earn Matic tokens. They've got four, they've got, what do they call those, deflationary tokenomics, 4% redistribution fees um, in Matic to Tiny holders, which is nice. 4% goes to the liquidity pool, 2% gets burnt. Um, there is a next generation play to earn model with his tiny hero, which is ac equals Axie Infinity plus Safe Moon. Cool. So if you're a fan of um, Polygon, well, I think we have an anonymous team, unfortunately. But if you're a fan of Polygon, uh, we can't doesn't have the contract address there any either, which is a bit of a worry. Have a look at this coming out tomorrow. Next up, we've got Crypto Manga. We're a pre-launch here. Uh, we've got a PFP project, and I believe 
it's manga avatars. There they are. So people love manga. Um, could be a very popular one. Who are they following? Following a freelance illustrator from South Korea, um, an engineer from Canada, and then also someone who works at R Weave um, Ethereum and Pull Together. Awesome. That's Crypto Manga NFT. Next up, we got F Forms. This is a pretty cool little project. We've got a collection of modular architecture made for the metaverse. So we've got these little structures here, right? Well, if we watch the video real quick, you're going to build with them and then you can actually take them into Decentraland and actually like have them in Decentraland, which is pretty cool. So modular architecture being built. If we check out the website at fforms.com, who are they following on Twitter? Untitled, so they was built by Untitled, who's a meta architecture or architect. And here's the F forms. So each F form NFT contains an unlockable 3D model designed for compatibility in Decentraland. There's new drops coming every Friday. Um, and I think they're launching. Look at this. Here we go. We've got 50 spheres, 50 cubes, 104 structures, 104 staircases, gateways, and also windows. So there's going to be 521 of these modular architecture pieces, which is really cool. So that's F Forms, really cool project there. Additionally, we've got Octopals. These are launching very soon. One day to go. So these are these are launching tomorrow. These little octopus guys. We've also got Tubby Cats. Tubby Cats just has a landing page. Here is the Tubby Cat landing page. Very uh, intriguing. No tweets. So unknown there for Tubby Cats. We've also got Alan or Alan. A deal coordination protocol built on Ethereum pre-launch, no tweets, um, but actually no, excuse me, one tweet. They're saying getting much closer to launch, so Alan could be coming soon. Is this a Doge generator? This could be awesome. Ah, we just gone ran into GitHub. Where the rabbit hole ends, good old GitHub. Next one up is Playground, playgrounds.market. We've got a play, create, earn. We've got an NFT games marketplace that's pre-launch. So coming soon. It is Web3 enabled, which is nice. Probably the biggest story of the day for the one person that's listening right now. Um, audio, audio glyphs. 10,000 randomly generated infinite audio NFTs derived from on-chain data. Uh, they synthesize a unique infinite stream of music directly to your browser. These minted this morning, 10,000 of them, and they sold out quite quickly. Uh, let's go and let's derive from pixel glyph data. And actually, pixel glyphs are uh, still a pretty good deal. These pixel glyphs, I think our price floor on pixel glyphs is 0 0.02. So here is our audio glyphs. Um, the on chain data. Seeds a pseudo random number generator which is used to set parameters on nodes in a signal processing graph. Structure of the graph, probability of the distribution of the parameters have been carefully designed to balance generating a wide range of sounds while ensuring that every autoglyph is musical and interesting. Cool. Wow. While there is a small chance that some audioglyphs will repeat, the melodic the melodic Sequences in most audio lists are based on irrational numbers and will continue forever without repeating. Sweet. Very, very cool. If we wanted to actually go and check one of these out, actually, we could just do it at the website. Never mind. Let's go and check one out. Here it is. We can actually place this little guy. And now the little circles are changing. And there's audio in my headphones. So probably the biggest thing today, in my opinion, audio glyphs. Very, very cool. Robin, how we doing? Star Atlas is going to rock it. Check out their NFT pieces. Sounds good to me. Over on, what, Solana? I believe we're at the right place. Correct, Robin? Port City, you're really bullish on Kadena. You heard it here first. I, we know Kadena. We need to get a channel for Kadena. If I'm remembering Kadena right. Here's Star Atlas, Next Gen Gaming Metaverse. Heard good things. Heard we're not, might be too late, but might not be. Where are their NFTs? If we play now, 
head over to the marketplace. Here are the NFTs. Looks like they're all posters at the moment. Well, let me know, Robin. There you go. Yeah, you can check the market suite. If we check inventory, no collectibles for me. Looks like we have posters here at the moment. Oh, those are. We also have stations. No stations. How about the ships? I'm struggling to find. Ah, so it is a meta poster drop details. Drops every Saturday for 14 weeks beginning in April. Cool. Ah, hey Maddie, good to see ya. Looks very interesting. Leaderboards and trading decks are coming soon. Same with orders as well. Pretty cool. I'll have to learn more about it. We got Discord. How many people on the Discord? About twelve thousand. So yeah, a very healthy um, community um, compared for crypto standards for sure. Yeah, I am struggling to find it. You have to press below the NFT and then go to market. Pretty cool little marketplace, I'll say that. Uh, we got asks um, and, and buys as well. Pretty cool. I think we have NFT um, launches for the rest of the call today. Um, Shiba Society launching today, I believe. Minting soon, Tuesday, August 7th, 9 p.m. UTC. We've got little Shiba dogs. We've got Syndicate of Beasts. These guys look pretty cool. Um, there's the little beasts. Another profile picture. Um, Syndicate of Beast just added three art blocks, factories, two transitions, one timepiece to the community wallet as part of the Syndicate DAO. Cool. So launch date's now August 20th. Very, very cool. Syndicate of Beasts. That was just this morning, huh? Yeah, seven hours ago. So they're moving the launch date to August 20th. This one was supposed to drop right now. Happy Land Gummy Bears. These guys are free. Uh, let's see if they've all been minted. They were, it was a delayed drop. If I connect the wallet. Wonder how many... Oops. We could mint bears. Uh, sale is not active right now. <laughs> Rough times for them. So they're having a tough drop there. All they're trying to do is give away gummy bears. There they are. So, hopefully things do better there. Go and check their Discord. It's like it's going wild in there. You get free bears um, if they ever launch. We've also got Greycraft um, generative aircrafts that were launched today. Ten thousand three D spacecrafts launching. Um, 17th August, they just launched today, about a couple hours ago. As well as Sympathy for the Devils, another PFP project, 6,666 unique devils living in NFT hell on Ethereum. And here's the website. Cool. And when are they launching? August 17th, today, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Awesome. And that is it for today. All of our links today are in the description. Really liked audio glyphs, um, as well as F forms. F forms was really good. Crypto manga could be big. People love manga or manga. Port City, have you checked out Satoshables? I bought a couple. I had a look at them, but I didn't buy any myself. No, maybe I should have. But that's it for today. Um, what other drops? Oh yeah, we've got an Art Blocks drop coming pretty soon. That I think is going to be pretty good. I think it's at 10 a.m. just in like nine minutes. 10 minutes Pacific, excuse me. Scribbles. I think we've got scribbles coming up. How low can they go? They can go down to 0.25 ETH, so I'd be very tempted at 0.25 ETH because um, it's a curated project. 
Um, so yeah, if it drops down to 0.25 ETH, I might be getting one, but I have a feeling they won't. I have a, there's only a thousand of them. I have a feeling um, these might go pretty quickly. Awesome. Thanks everyone for joining. Crypto's looking really good. Um, if we go back to trading view, really just curious if we're going to fill in um, a bit more volume here in the 1.5 to $2 trillion um, time frame. We spent a lot of time there. Uh, we hit kind of 1.5 all the way back in February 2021. We really stayed there till about June. So, so the whole world's been comfortable with a $1.5 trillion crypto market cap for at least Feb, one, two, three, about three or four months, or you know, probably three months. So now we've come back into it. I um, wonder if we're going to spend a little bit more time in there until we break through to 2.4, but who knows? We're in a bull market, so Bitcoin's very, very dangerous at the moment. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Really, really appreciate it. I'll see you in the Discord, and we'll be back at it tomorrow. Bye for now.